You're watching the morning news on Global Edmonton. While some people love the uh, wheeling and dealing of buying a new vehicle, others can find all of the numbers and stats a little bit confusing. Unfortunately, websites like CarCost Canada uh, can help take out some of the guesswork. And joining us now to explain how this is done is uh, Ben Spadafore. Good morning, Ben. Good morning. Thanks for coming in today. So what exactly does your website do? What, what's the deal what, as, as a resource? Sure. So we provide uh, what's called a Car Cost Canada Wholesale Price Report. And it's a concise report that indicates the relationship between MSRP, which is the retail price, but we provide the costing information, the dealer invoice price. In addition, there's incentives. They're either advertised or not advertised, as well as we have lease and finance rates. And of course, in many cases, a dealer referral. So having all that information allows you to uh, deal with a, a level playing ground, so to speak, with the dealer. All right. Is there a certain time of the year or even time of the month that's a better time to buy a car than others? Definitely. So there's seasonal times, such as the end of the year, and manufacturers are providing lots of incentives to move out their old uh, inventory. But as well as that during the month, I always indicate that it's better to go in earlier rather than at the very end of the month. You, you don't want to go in when everyone else is going in. You want to go in a little bit earlier so that way you can make an informed decision. Okay, now when it comes time to financing, if you've made the decision that you'd like to finance your car and you see all this business about a 0% and this and that, how important is it for you to have that, that personal credit score uh, fresh in your mind and know exactly where you stand? It's really important. And the reason is because buying a car is an emotional decision. You take time to decide on what make you want, the color, the options, you pick all these out, and exactly, the manufacturers have great incentives right now at 0%, so at the end of that process, you don't want to be disappointed. All right, what about the lingo, the car lingo? What, you should, what should you know going in? Sure, so uh, knowing the lingo will allow you to, again, interact with that dealer on a real level, a good level playing ground. You know, MSRP, invoice pricing, options, that sort of thing. So if you know that, you're, you're, you're talking with confidence, and the, when you're talking with confidence, you can usually get a better deal. Okay, and speaking of deals, when it comes right down to it, and you've, you've got all the, uh, the, the numbers down on paper there, and they start to throw that warranty at you, should you be buying one of those extended warranties? It's a personal decision, depending on whether you can sleep at night as well as to your usage of your vehicle. So extended warranties are a great idea if you're a heavy user, for example, lots of kilometers. If you're not, perhaps it may not be a great decision. But for can you. you use that as a dealing point along with other accessories? Um, not really. The idea that we always say to our members and to uh, your viewers is that concentrate on the cost, add a margin, and pick that purchase target price. And once you have that purchase target price, everything else will fall in the place. Okay, now when it comes time to, to finding the car, how many dealerships should you be checking out before you make your decision? Uh, I recommend that, at le you know, if you're a comparison shopper, you can at least do two, for example. I wouldn't recommend ten because in, in that process you might get confused. So if you're a comparison shopper, two is more than enough. All right, Ben, thanks so much for coming in. Nice to meet you. For more information on Car Cost Canada, call 1-866-453-699 Fiber. You can visit them online at carcostcanada.com. There's a $39.95 membership fee to take advantage of their services, and uh, apparently it'll really help you out. Stay with us. We're back right after the break.